Welcome to JurexNurse.com's Legal Nurse Consultant Episodes. I'm your host, Elizabeth Rudolph. I'm an attorney, I'm also a nurse just like you, and I'm a professional legal nurse consultant. So hit the subscribe button if you never wanna miss another episode of this. Share it with your friends because we don't have any corporate sponsors. The only way for other nurses to know about it is by you sharing it. So we're gonna talk about today the five tips to be successful as a professional legal nurse consultant. Your goal is to get medical records to review from attorneys. So we're gonna break that down and talk about how you actually are successful by going through five different tips that we've found through the years that successful PLNCs employ. So let's start first with Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, where he says, start with the end in mind. That's what we're gonna do. Your goal is to get medical records to review. And to do that, you need to number one tip, take initiative. Be persistent, be consistent. That's part of success in life, is constantly evaluate yourself and your performance. That's the best way to achieve success. You wanna bring fresh ideas to the fore. You wanna bring some new and different ideas. The best way to do that is to go on and take initiative, even when you're not feeling like you want to take initiative. You wanna think about what other projects are out there for you to do. Not just review the medical records, but we'll talk more about that later. You may even want to anticipate what you think the attorney or the legal team might need because it's more really than just reviewing medical records, although reviewing medical records is huge. There are lots of different talents and skills that you bring to the fore. So anticipate what the attorney might need. For example, if you're reviewing a medical record for the plaintiff's attorney, let's look at that side first you can really get the beautiful full picture of the case by reviewing photos that the family may have taken or that the patient may have taken. You may want to look at any video of the injury. You may want to listen to any audio. And then sometimes you're going to find that patients or their family members take notes. If they take notes, maybe those are notes that you want to look at that'll help you describe the injury best to the attorney. If you are looking at the case from the defense counsel, which is the opposing side of the case, let's say, then maybe you wanna look at the obituary if it's a wrongful death case, or you wanna Google or Bing or do some sort of research, light research, okay, where you can at your fingertips find out some different things that might be useful. Again, there may be video, there may be social media posts, there may be notes that you want to review. And if you can't get them, you would go through your attorney who would then make the appropriate request of the opposing counsel. Number two, you want to use your nursing experience as a registered nurse to your benefit. There's so many skills that you have as a registered nurse. It's quality, not quantity. It doesn't necessarily mean because you have five or 10 or even two years, okay, that you're gonna be any better. The goal in this is that you be thorough. So years of experience doesn't matter as much as much as, much as your clinical experience does. So try to have some different clinical experiences. Remember though that many cases just require basic nursing knowledge. So it's not like you're gonna to have to have any highly technical skills. There may be highly technical cases out there, but there are also many basic cases where the issues are simple, they're not complex. And your basic nursing knowledge would certainly more than cover the ability to review the medical records. For example, have you ever had a patient fall? or a patient who was malnourished, for example, or it was nutrition as an issue in the case, those are often the issues that we find in cases. So it doesn't really take a lot of technical knowledge to be able to go through ambulation protocol or how did the patient fall step by step and looking it up that way. So just remember, a lot of these cases are simple cases. They're not complex. Let's look at the third tip, which is 
be ready and willing to learn, okay? It's fun to learn some new and different things. You wanna use your nursing knowledge to the best ability that you can. And I indicated earlier, you wanna be able to do a little research, but the research is not heavy research. It's not going to the library. I remember years ago having to go to the library and the hardest part of going to the library was finding a parking spot, okay, in the garage. So just remember, you can Google, you can Bing, as I said earlier, you can look up, if you will, anything that you want on your phone in order to be able to explain those concepts, those conditions, those medical interactions with the attorney or attorneys or legal team or even the client of the attorney. Just remember, often the clients of the attorneys, they don't understand their medical condition. So who better than you to be able to explain that to the actual attorney's client? But remember, you wanna be coachable okay, and be willing to accept new ideas. Sometimes you'll miss something in the medical record. It may or may not be catastrophic, but if you decide I'm going to learn from it, you're all the much better off, okay? So we all make mistakes, that's okay, all right? That's just part of it. Number four, you want to enjoy communicating. Now there are a lot of different ways that you can communicate. You can communicate, as I said, with the attorney, with the clients of the attorney, with the family of the clients of the attorney, with other legal team members, with other experts, okay? There may be times that you are in contact with other experts in the case, or you know of other experts. Remember that you're valued as a professional legal nurse consultant. It's your nursing knowledge and your experience that matter most. So communication skills, Frankly, that comes with being a nurse. And it doesn't matter whether it's in person or whether it's remote or by written word. You can communicate a variety of different ways. Use that to your benefit. It's been said often that communication is your key to success, okay? So you want to be successful. Be sure you are and become a better communicator. Now, one tip I would say here before we get into the next one, and that is to be mindful of the fact that attorneys have deadlines. So you may be working on a deadline because the attorney has a deadline. There are deposition deadlines, there are trial deadlines, there are motion deadlines, all of those different types of deadlines that attorneys face that frankly, you'll be involved in because you're gonna be proactive and get whatever it is that you're doing, whether it's reviewing the medical records and giving your opinion to the attorney, you're gonna turn that in well in advance of any deadline that the attorneys have. So there's a lot more that goes into the case than reviewing medical records alone. Again, reviewing the medical records is huge and that's something that you'll really perfect over time. Let's look at the fifth tip. And the fifth tip to be successful is to be detail oriented. Now, that doesn't mean you can't see the big picture because you wanna be able to see the big picture, but you also wanna be able to look at the finer points. So do you remember they taught us in nursing school, if it's not documented, it's not done? Okay, well, if it's not documented, it may still have been done, it's just harder to prove. And so therefore that's your job as a professional legal nurse consultant to be able to look at the documents and see, well, gosh, this was frankly done, but it just wasn't documented, okay? So the question often is, if something's not documented, therefore not done, did it cause any injury? So you're gonna be looking at it from that perspective. Go over the records more than once. I wanna share with you a story that my grandmother said to us years ago, back when sewing with a Singer sewing machine was more in vogue, okay? And she used to make clothes for myself and for my sisters. And she always said, measure twice, cut once, okay? So that's what you're gonna do before you submit any records or any opinions of yours to the attorney, you're going to measure twice and then cut once. You don't want to leave any stone unturned. So that's why you want to be detail oriented. All right. Ask yourself, 
would you hire you if you were the attorney? Learn from your mistakes. Again, we all make mistakes. It's okay. And just consider that you want to exude the passion for the case and the passion for the medical records and your skills to the attorney. So let's quickly review the five tips to be successful as a professional legal nurse consultant. Number one, you want to take initiative. Number two, you want to use your experience as a registered nurse to your benefit. Number three, be ready to learn. Four, enjoy communicating. And five, be detail-oriented, but still look for the big picture. All right, that's a wrap for today, but do me a favor, okay, would you? Please share this on video with your um, friends on Instagram, on Facebook. Tag jurexnurse.com and them if you would. You can get our free guide to how to hack your income by just going to info at jurexnurse.com. So email us at info at jurexnurse. I want to leave you with this message, okay? Take one action today toward becoming successful as a professional legal nurse consultant. All right, I appreciate you and I want you to make this a great day. Thank you.